Hey everyone, my name is Rana. Back with another video. And in this video, you will learn how to deploy a Python API. So many people have requested this video for a long period of time, and I have decided now to make this at last. Okay, so this is deploying the Python API, and many people are also confused between the API and web development. Okay, so in order to deploy any API of Python, we will use today the Flask framework. Okay, and I have already made Flask tutorials. and uh, still many people don't know that the flask can be used for deploying the api okay so they have this contention of that the flask is only for the web development and many people also don't even know the real meaning of deploying an api so api you can just think of it like uh, deploying your python business logic and uh, generating a link okay a public link over the internet which can anyone can access that link and uh, use your business logic okay so let's begin so in order to learn the python api we will uh, need some prerequisites now i am not expecting you should be knowing flask okay i'll uh, just give you the basics of the flask and the insights of the flask in this video itself but what you can do is the only thing i need is the basic python you don't need to have your python on to an extremely great level okay i just need some of the basic fundamentals like the modules and the functions okay that's it okay so let's begin so in order to start we will uh, need the flask the flask is an external module okay so you will have to just install it using the pip and it says requirement already satisfied because i have already installed it let's begin so let's say from flask import star okay. and uh, many people have been complaining about the font size okay i know the font is pretty much small let me just uh, get you sorted this is pretty big and i would just request you to watch the videos in the 1080p okay so it is not going to be an issue for you with the font then say flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore and then say at the rate app dot route okay and then just create a function so let's say basic that is the name of my function it can be anything you want and then say return so i want to return something and let's just return this thing works and finally in order to complete your api Type underscore underscore main underscore underscore app dot run. Okay, so this is the structure of the Flask. Okay, the Flask works this way. Now just uh, let me get to my location and uh, type Python API dot py. I'm just uh, running this thing from CMD. If you are using IDLE, you can use IDLE. If you are using VS Code, you can use that uh, terminal of the VS Code. And now it has actually generated the link. Now I'll just uh, go to that link on my browser, and it is going to give me the API. So it says this thing works. So I hope you might have got a little bit idea the concept of the API. So I just created this thing. This is the normal Python code, okay? And it is returning it on. my browser so now let's begin with the uh, basics of the api now let's assume we have we are creating a system okay and uh, there is a front end and there might be a, also an android app let's say okay so and it is a basic uh, login system okay so let's assume that you are using the api for the login system and in order to enter the values into your database okay your database can be anything it can be uh, PostgreSQL or uh, MongoDB or Firebase anything you have to use your API so this flask this thing this server side scripting thing is going to take the values from the front end okay so it is going to take the values from the android app and it is going to take the values from the website or it can take the values from the desktop app and it is going to post those things onto a link okay then the link generated by your api and that api is going to work in the back end and it is going to post the thing into the database okay so now you might have got the concept how the api thing works 
and in order to do that now i'll just uh, go right from the scratch okay i'll show you how you can fetch the arguments okay how you can fetch the parameters that one will post from the front end and uh, they can actually post the way they want okay and uh, i'll show you with the postman first of all and then uh, if the time persists i will uh, just show you uh, a basic front end and we'll just insert the values now in order to begin the first thing you will have to do is mention methods okay and uh, methods are get and post this thing is actually really really important just keep that in mind and now so this is my route and these are the methods now let's begin so let's just uh, begin some really basic like just uh, return a name okay using the api so let, then you will have to say if request dot method is equal to equal to post and let's declare a variable so let's say name is equal to request dot arguments so args dot get you want to get the args and now mention the uh, id the uh, name of the parameter mention the name of the parameter and then the type so the type is going to be string and uh, just uh, return the thing return name okay so now let me just tell you something about the get and post method now if you have seen my flash tutorial this is going to be really easy for you but if you haven't seen the flash tutorials let me uh, show you something now the get and post is common between all the uh, server side scripting languages so it is good with the php it is uh, good with the node.js okay it is all the concept is actually the same what get is going to do is it is going to get some of the parameters or arguments associated with that link and give it to you and post is going to be post like you are posting something okay so like our uh, website okay the business logic for the website is going to take the parameters the user defined parameters from the user okay so the user is posting onto that link get it <laughs> this might uh, just seem pretty much difficult but when you just get hold of these things this is going to be really really easy okay there is nothing to think about it so our api is ready now let us just uh, run this thing you have to rerun it just keep that in mind and it is running and now i'll just uh, open postman so postman is really good you can just uh, use this thing all right and now uh, if you haven't used the postman let me just uh, show you so here if you click you will have a lot of things and we will have to select the post okay so we are going to post the parameters using the postman so just assume that this is a front end you are using okay so this is going to help you to post the parameters this is not a website like uh, if you have website yeah you will have some of the uh, text box dialog box and where you will just uh, you know click the thing and it is going to go over there and then uh, what i'll do is i'll just use this link generated by my api okay and now i will click on the parameters okay now the parameters i have to so the key the key is this name okay so it is going to use this key to uh, request the parameters now value now let me just return my name and send and i get the request uh, i sorry i get the response okay this is the response i am getting from my api so my api is actually returning me this thing see that so this might actually sound uh, complicated for some of you but it is really really not complicated it is so much easy and now let me just uh, make some changes to my code and uh, let's now just uh, print this thing so if i print the name whatever name i'll be entering you will be able to see it onto the uh, your command line okay so yeah let me just rerun this thing now i'll just keep this thing open yeah, this is better now i just make a little more just minutes yeah now my app is running send yeah we get run over here we can just uh, change this name anything we want okay see 
सो द एपी एस कंटिन्यूअसली रनिंग ओके ना माई कंप्यूटर इज रनिंग इफ यू पोज दिस थिंग ऑन टू द क्लाउड द क्लाउड इज गोइंग टू रन इट कंटिन्यूअसली एंड देन एनी वन कैन यूज द फ्रंट एंड टू एक्सेस योर एपीआई ओके सो दिस इज द मोस्ट बेसिक थिंग ना लेट मी जस्ट यू नो परफॉर्म अ फंक्शन सो दैट यू विल बी एबल टू गेट the grip over the api so it will also look like yeah uh we are using some of the business logic okay if i type int over here okay now that the type is int so it is going to take a number okay and now uh let me just say you can say anything you want so let's say add is equal to name so name holds the integer plus 10 so it is uh, going to return me the addition and i'll just say return add okay and uh, let me just see my api and my api is running now i, I will have to change oh, i'm sorry the name itself okay i'll change the value So let's say twenty, and the error has been raised. Int object is not callable. Okay, so it is not actually calling the. Let me just print this thing, and let's say print add. Let just return high. it is returning so the thing actually happened over here is it is not returning the integer okay it is not returning the integer onto my api so you can actually print this thing and you can take the value and you can do whatever you want okay so it is not going to return the uh, number okay it is not going to return the number i don't know why this happened but uh, let me just uh, try something so If I type test it, I might get the output. Experimenting is everything because even I I have never tried this thing. But let us see. Yeah, it happens. Okay, so uh, just keep that in mind. Just type test the thing. Okay, if you are using the integer and uh, you want your business logic to return the numbers, okay, just uh, type test this thing. So say str. So it is going to convert that number to the string. Okay, you get it. So I am now actually printing the add. So it is giving me the addition, and apart from that, I am returning the thing by type casting it into the string, and I got the response. Now let uh, now that we have the system, uh, let me just revert something, and let's say we are creating uh, the uh, database system. Okay, and let me just uh, get rid of this thing. And now I don't need to type cast because it is already string. and uh, it is name actually okay now let us create the front end so i will actually show you this thing how it can work using the front end so so the front end now let me just uh, create a new folder over here uh, what happened and let's a new folder and create a folder named templates so templates is actually going to have all of your html files okay so new file and let's say abc. oh i'm sorry to save this thing so let's say abc dot html so now this is the basic html okay and now what we will do is we will just attach all of the arguments that we get now now we are actually going to get the arguments okay from the website so front end so assume that you have front end somewhere okay and uh, someone is accessing that and uh, your api will be able to return the value Now, in order to do that, now uh, let me just uh, get this sorted. So, let's say last API that is the title of my, and I'm not actually uh, you know well good with the front end, but but I'll just uh, try something, and I can just uh, create the basic form. So, let's say action. I'm sorry, action, and action is going to take the slash. Okay, so that is this slash from my route, and I'll say 
method is equal to post so whatever i'm posting it is going to be this method now let me say what the hell am i doing input input type let's say text and the name is going to be uh, let's say names okay. names now let me create a submit button so let's say input and let's say uh, i'm sorry type is equal to submit and the name is going to be submit and let me just uh, give a little bit pressing okay. now here what we will do is so now we will have to return the template okay so render underscore template and now it is going to take the template from your template folder and just say uh, i'm sorry it is abc.html Get it? so now uh, let me just make a little bit uh, little bit changes over here so instead of request.args.get what you will have to do is you will have to say request dot now you will have to use this names so request dot form and inside the form say names so now whatever value you will get from your names is going to be posted and then I'll just say uh, print name okay. so it is going to take the names okay this names so whenever I click submit after the post it is going to take the name and it is going to print the name onto your console get it so this might actually uh, sound a little bit more confusing but uh, let us run this thing and if any errors are there I'll just come to know no error yeah we have it so now let me just uh, say Rona that's my name click on submit and it has been gone and we can see it over here so let me just uh, show you once more because the API is continuously working okay it runs in background and uh, you will have it so let's now say type any name you want let's say Jay Jay comes over here you can you can uh, post a couple of names okay and it is going to submit it okay this is the basic idea okay like uh, this is the way the apis are posted and many people are actually over complicating the things okay this is not uh, like rocket science okay this is really really easy i am just creating an api okay i have actually posted my python onto the web and i'm accessing it so this was actually the front end uh, aspect i told you okay first of all i showed you this thing using the postman where I was passing the arguments now I was now I am actually passing the arguments using a website okay so you might uh, post this thing like I said onto the cloud and someone is accessing your front end that is your website and uh, from the website they will just enter the things and they'll uh, you will be able to post into your website uh, any of the database okay database you want so I think you might have got a little bit of idea this is the rest API okay the whole video itself you don't have to you know many people get confused my god it is so difficult and how do I begin with it and uh, here we have it so thank you for watching goodbye